It's Two Jerks and Some Guests, a comedic look at the news you never knew existed, with your hosts, Josh and Jason. <laughs> this ought to be fucking good. Crap is going to find its way onto the recording. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I saw when he hit it. That's fine. I saw when he hit it. I hate the Patriots. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why. That's fine. I just started recording, so I'm like, we could jump in at some you point. You and 93% and just, uh, percent of the country. Pretty much. Yeah, so we're back with our guests that are here probably more than Ziggy has been. Yeah. No? Um, yeah, definitely more than this. Is this our third? <laughs> it's your third time. Yeah. Hey, shout out, shout out to Ziggy. I don't really know what's going on, yeah. but I saw that stuff, so he, shout out to yeah, Ziggy. Yeah, so go to Ziggy. Do you know the link for that? I cannot can, remember it off the top. It, I'll put, put it in the description. In the description yeah. yeah, Ziggy needs some help, so. Ziggy's got, so Ziggy's been taking medicine for a long time, and he has gotten to a point, and I'm only giving what he has described in the thing. I know more about it, but I'm only going to give you guys what um, he has described. He is taking doses of medicine to keep his uh, condition under control, and it's gotten to the point now where he's taking lethal dose levels. And it's basically take this medicine or die, or take this medicine and still die. So he has a corrective surgery planned uh, that will help, but insurance won't cover it. So this is what his GoFundMe is, and we'll, we'll link it at the bottom of this yeah, he's got a GoFundMe. It saved Ziggy. It's um, it's already got twenty seven hundred dollars. He's and, and people. He's not. It's not like he's gonna die tomorrow. So <laughs> right. Yeah. You don't have to go on there yeah. and freak out. Yeah. No. This is something that he's. he's this been is dealing something with for he a needs. Long time, he so, needs yeah. something preventative done, so he doesn't have long term complications right. of it going in. Going yeah. Forward. So if he does die, it's not in like. It's, It'll shorten it's his life. I it's not going to kill him tomorrow. Right? <laughs> and, and the thing is, too, about Ziggy is not just like Ziggy is just some random dude that puts him out. Ziggy is a super cool dude. Oh, yeah. He is a really, really cool dude. And yep. I saw that thing the other day. I was like, what the heck? And we have a lot of fans out there um, that is because of Ziggy. Um, when we first started, Ziggy, Ziggy was a huge help, uh, oh, getting yeah. us a ton of fans. So... Um, a lot of you guys know him, so we'll keep him in our thoughts and prayers, but I don't want to drag it down too much. Yeah, because like I said, it's already been going on for a day, and he is at $2,700. Yeah, so he's he's going to do just fine. He's doing for you. He knows pretty much everybody. Yeah, so he's going to do just but fine. Yeah, go donate. Don't be, a, yeah. don't be a bastard. And then uh, we also have our donations for our layaway payoff. Don't forget that. Right. Which we'll we were just on. For that too. We were just on Buddy and Kenny. Uh, friends of ours. The goat. The goat. Jason. You guys do the goat? Did you guys do? Yeah, we did the goat. goat. Eight o'clock in the morning, we did the goat. Oh my god! And we had to play a game too, where we had to like read lips while listening to really loud metal music. Holy shit, the goat! Yeah. The goat was great. It was just really difficult being up at eight o'clock in the morning, all steampunked out, man. Oh, I don't know how you did it. Uh, we don't know I, I stopped I'm, for coffee and I was just like, what am I doing? Buddy's standing in the window, of the second floor. And as I drive up, I see him just creeping, and I just give him the biggest middle finger. And, just, <laughs> and it's funny because it's like two friggin' blocks from here. It's yeah. insane. I'm I was really I shocked. Right next to my yeah. work. Yeah. I had no idea until we went over. I'm like, what the freak? So you guys have been guests on our show, and we've talked to you guys about Heirs of Azor and the other comic books you guys have uh, written and produced and all this other stuff. But we wanted to have you guys on because you're some of our most fun guests. Boom, that's what we're talking about. For the entire show. Now, when I say the entire show, we try to, during the interview process, tame ourselves a little bit. We're getting out of the untamed, we're getting into the untamed territory. <laughs> that's our favorite territory. So, so really kind of pick the best yeah. I'm going to open it up with a joke just to get us all into the mood. Oh, what do you call a discount circumcision? Um, a ripoff. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. All right. <laughs> this is the kind of oh. humor you can expect Real on quick. Two Jerks. That, that made me cringe. And I'm just <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's really cool. I love mashup costumes like that. Yeah. You know, the armor and everything. All right. So we're going to get into what you guys know, we, when we do here on Two Jerks, we take the news and we put a comedic spin on it, even if it's already got a comedic spin like this first story. Yeah, these are all real stories, so it's... And they're... So they all start with Florida Man. Yep. No, we, uh, no, there's something like... It's like the rest of the world. It's crazy. Josh has got food. 
Josh, you have food for the rest of us? Yeah, Josh. Maybe. If you don't have food for the rest of us, we're out. Yeah, I was just showing him. Find that. Hey, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can. Hey, like that for a mash. That's that really so cool. amazing. I get my daughter. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about Apocalypse that. Apocalypse would feel like it. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so, so where were we besides the fact that you did not get us food and you have your you own dirty food. bastard? I, I ordered it on the drive, and I thought it'd be here by the time I got here. So, it wasn't. Right. But it's so, okay. I mean, it doesn't have to stay over there. You can actually eat while we're doing the interview. No, I, I gotta be professional. He's gonna be all crunchy. You gotta be professional after the joke that you just said. Okay. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> all right, so what you did ask is, does it involve Florida men? Nine times out of ten, Yes. Because those are the best news stories. Of course they are. Yeah, yeah we yeah. we've said this. We they said this, actually, themselves. me and Buddy came to the conclusion this last week that if you just want hours and hours of enjoyment, type in Google Florida Man. Oh yeah, it's... and that's all you need. It's true. So, first story, and this was confirmed by Snopes. Was Florida Man arrested for tranquilizing and raping alligators in the Everglades? <laughs> here's Honestly. a here's my okay, question so, here's my question so the, wait you're asking what? us if this was confirmed or this, so this has been this confirmed is, this we're, is confirmed we're trying to figure out whether this happened or not no it it, it did happen it did happen it did my, happen. my, my oh. question is this what what form of of rape was this that was going on was he getting a blowjob from these alligators oh i would hope God. not i think that goes with like the rip-off thing uh, i, don't yeah. think yeah. I feel like this, is, this yeah. is like part two well, maybe that's it like, yeah well like i can tell you i can tell you from his picture I wouldn't put it past him to try and get a blowjob from an alligator. I'm going to show you guys this picture real quick. Oh, good lord. God, I hope that picture shows up. Look at that, man. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. boy. Yes. Well, so, he looks like it's happening in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> so, a flo- it was definitely a blowjob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, 57-year-old Sean Killams was found in the Florida authorities in the act of engaging in sexual intercourse with a tranquilized alligator Sunday afternoon. Authorities say they tased Sean. <laughs> no, they didn't. No. What? Like, during it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, says he was not following police orders. Police say Sean was also high on crystal meth. They also <laughs> got to say that the, ta- the taser did not stop him on the first go well, around. They probably liked it. That's yeah. probably made it better. Him. Yeah, he was on crystal. So but did they say how we tranked it though? Um, let's see. <laughs> Cause I need to know. Now yeah. you need to know. Yeah, I need uh. to know. So this is how it goes. Um, so it doesn't go show. Was this Florida man? This is a Florida man. Of course it is. It's well, everybody. Yeah, 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 right, so. right. Got it. Um, <laughs> it goes on to say that this is not the first time um the first time he has been arrested oh oh um which if you're raping alligators i kind of yeah expect that's not you. usually like, where you start say, yeah, <laughs> start with that you're well, probably I mean, on some list somewhere there's got to be at least one petty theft for a candy bar before that <laughs> for <laughs> alligator yeah. rape yeah we're tranking it and then knowing like proper dosage yeah. That is well, true. Well, we could sit. Okay. So, Steve Irwin used to do the thing where he would go and sex the alligators. Where right, right, right. He would put the thumb. In, but that was purely scientific. He had to keep numbers and stuff and like that. he was like a trained professional. Everybody makes fun of it because you can go find the clips on the internet where he's sitting there and he's popping a thumb. And they're butthole. And they're butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and. I just think sometimes these Discovery Channel shows go. A little too far with the science. Okay. And you give too much away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody out there to these saw idiots. that. <laughs> it's like I never really thought about it like that. It's like, oh, if you turn a if you turn a shark upside down, they just go tranquil. You know, there's been some idiot named Bob. <laughs> well, there's been probably a lot of idiots. That's been out there on the side of his boat trying to grab a great hammerhead and flip it on its back. To make it go tranquil. Yeah, or it's probably like some guy named Brock, and he's on you his dad's to, boat. You wanted to say Josh, I know you did. No, I was gonna say a Kyle. I was gonna yeah, go a Kyle. Kyle. But yeah. it's like I'm a dad's could be, boat, bro. But like Kyle would punch the shark. Could be somebody named William or somebody named Thomas. Yeah, could be. 
Or Jason. <laughs> <laughs> or Jason. That's true. Or, yeah. Josh, you should have reserved the one. Hey, if Thomas wants to flip that shark over, it's going to flip over. Yeah. But, um, so. <laughs> Jesus, man. It's going to. All right, he so. He's friends with Jesus. It's the only way you can explain it. <laughs> He's friends with somebody. So we got our first arrest from the Area 51 Naruto raids. Oh, oh wait, it's right. like in two days, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I'm we Friday. Got our, so we got our first the, yeah, arrest. Today's the 18th while we're recording this, so, yep, so two days from now is when... Uh, um, maybe, unless God. they... Well, I don't know. It might not. Maybe this might be I the really last recording ever. I really wish this would have happened, like... Apocalypse after two, this thing. Mm-hmm. I wish it would have been, like, two weeks ago that this started, because then people would still want to do it. Like, because, you know, people are so... Now it's like if it hasn't happened 15 seconds, I thought, I thought that on. happened like a long time no, ago. I didn't even know it's already been like a month. Forever. It's I been like a month and a half. I'm saying, I didn't even know that was uh, didn't even know that was like part of the equation anymore. Yeah. But see, that's what I mean. Like they took too long. I think if they did it sooner, then more idiots would have been along oh, with the ride. They'd have been like, let's go through that. Yep. So people have been arrested. Yeah. So a Dutch YouTuber. Okay. Sounds um, about right. Is it PewDiePie? It's not PewDiePie. Okay. Um, I wish it was. <laughs> we just don't need that person in, yeah. in the world. Let's not let him be. Um, they were arrested. Uh, it's uh, Jacob Sweet, 21, and Gover Charles Wilkeros, 20. Um, they were arrested Naruto running towards the front door of um, Area 51. So so let me ask you a like, question here about, about Area 51. Does anybody actually think that anything that would be the smoking gun that may have ever still been at Area 51 would still be there 40 years later? Or anybody in the government that has got the internet would be like, hey guys, no, if you're hey happy- guys, there's some knuckleheads out here on Facebook that want to come out. Let's just make sure we move those dead alien bodies to Area 52, okay? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go to right. Area 52 now. Yeah. yeah, they gave him a month. It's like a month and a half when this shit started. Yeah. So, and, a, so, and a whole career of X-Files. I mean, come on. It's not like this <laughs> stuff hasn't been going on for a Thanks. long time. Yeah. So Thanks. Area 51 Scully. goes by. I forget what the name of the actual base is. I think it's... it's, it's oh, yeah. It's, some, the, it's, it's something like the Wilhelm Air yeah, Force Air something base. base. Yeah. And... Wilhelm. Uh, <laughs> like the Wilhelm scream? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I hope so. I just came up with some name. I think it starts with a W. I'm not sure. But, uh, so, the thing about this is, is if you and I know about it, there's no way in hell there's aliens. There may be something secret there. There may be something like uh, stealth bomber technology or something like that. We have that everywhere. We live about 45 minutes from one of the most secure places in the southeast, the nuclear power plant in Crystal River. Yep. We know it's there, but we can't build a nuclear power plant because they have secrets inside there. It's also surrounded by military personnel and private security and all sorts of stuff. But if someone goes, there's an alien inside that building, do you really think the government has kept that alien there and allowed that secret to get onto the internet? It's just ridiculous to me. It, it is. It, I, I thought that was the most most stupid thing known to man. What do these people think that they're going to do? What do they well, think they're going to uncover? Oh, well, look, you, got, you got us. Yeah. And you. So Roswell, New Mexico makes a great. It, it's got a great little economy based around the whole alien thing. Yeah, it's a little touristy. Thing. A little touristy yeah. thing, and it's got a great little economy for it. And you're just fucking it up for all of those people that have been there for. 40 years. Hey, nothing wrong with no, hey, nothing wrong with no Roswell. You know why? My mom lived in Roswell when the Roswell incident happened. I am part alien. The second I'm, half of that, only half of that's true, but for real, my mom actually lived there during the Roswell wait, incident. Wait, which half of you. that is true? Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows. Um, so Arby's and Kool-Aid got in on it, though, and did a, um, so Kool-Aid's going to release 900 limited edition cans of Kool-Aid UFO Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's green. UFO, yeah. <laughs> and then there's an Arby's truck that, because I don't know if you ever followed them on Facebook or any of their Instagram or anything like that. Arby's is amazing. They have their, whoever their PR guy or their social media guy 
is incredible because they do all this incredible like uh, cardboard work and they'll do um, like they have a map showing the trek uh, the 2000 mile trek from I guess their headquarters um, to oh, it's the, the there's a meat truck a meat house food truck it's gonna drive 2000 miles to Area 51 and it's gonna be there um, to give people food and they have their uh, they have a special menu up just for that um, you, you can get the E.T. slider, <laughs> the Arby's frying objects. The, frying the, objects! Yep, oh. the redacted on rye sandwich, <laughs> and the, the galaxy shake. And then hey, they you have, know what? They're smarter than all of us. Like, that's when, right. the, when this first hit, like the next day there was a meme, and it said something like the real MVP of the Area 51 raid, and it was, it was a picture of this little lady with her little hot dog cart, you know, like the street right. dogs. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! If like, you're not food carts or... <laughs> Or alcohol, like be, I think there was one that said that uh, there's something if you're 21 and over, there's some other thing that there's gonna be. Uh, an alien themed beverage. Bud Light is sponsoring the Area 51 celebration now scheduled for Las Vegas on September 19th. I'm gonna hit not now on. This. Gotcha. Didn't think you wanted to update the middle of the corner. Right. <laughs> I didn't want it to auto update either. All right. God. So this is not weird news, but <laughs> I would take part in this, so oh, that's God. why I'm bringing this up. Wait, 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 so wait, so just to make sure I understand. This isn't about the, 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 you're, croc, the I was alligator. I going to say, you're saying you would not take place <laughs> in Area 51 or the alligator That's, story from true. earlier. I would okay, not, so I this would is not the take... first story you take, you'd partake in. Yes, I would partake in this. A, a Utah-based company is celebrating the impending arrival of Halloween by offering up a horror fan's dream job. Watch 13 movies based on Stephen King stories and document the experience for $1,300. I just saw this literally right before we came here. So and, like in a row? Uh, wh- yes. You but have like, to... ever, how do you? Who gets chosen to win the thirteen hundred? You just get put into like a. So or... the winner will be paid thirteen hundred, but also receive a flashlight, blanket, popcorn, candy, and a Stephen King pre- prize package. A flashlight. Ask... That's a random. <laughs> She's supposed to be in the dark with a blanket over here. Well, it's supposed to be the, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be those camping it, stories. Uh, okay. Because all Stephen King novels are supposed to be camping stories. Yeah. No, it's a it fleshlight. So That's you, I mean. you're supposed to apply to this company by October, uh, through their website, October 5th, by October 15th. The winner will sit in a theater and document the entire oh. experience and watch 13 movies in a row by themselves in a secluded theater. So how many times are they allowed to fall asleep before they uh before it's yeah, over? Yeah, that can't be healthy. Like that person's gonna stand up and then their heart's just gonna stop. It's it gonna be like those it Korean matters, people in the internet cafes. That it just matters. Play. It matters which Stephen King movie it is too. Some of them are good. Some of them are trash. Some of them are really it's, yeah, it's, some, it's, it's all he's good my, ones. He's my favorite author too. But there's like some like when he, even when he's like, I'm gonna make this one now. You're like, I love the. Yeah, I sorry, I go off on a little bit of a tangent, but I was watching Mr. Deeds the other day, and he, the Adam Sandler goes, "Yeah, we don't get celebrities often." Stephen King came to our gas station one time, and our uh, the gas attendant said hi to him, and he disappeared the next day. <laughs> 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 that, that's just one of those cute little yeah, things. Yeah, of course you did. But uh, the chosen movies are Carrie, okay. Children of the Corn, okay. Christine, mm-hmm. Creep Show, Cujo, mm-hmm. Dreamcatcher, It, The Mist. Pet Cemetery, Salem's Lot, The Shining, and Thinner. So basically, right. and nothing that's happened in the last 30 years? Yeah. Right. Yeah, pretty uh, much, yeah. Well, I guess... Knew it, though. Uh, I wonder why they didn't put it in there. Like, it. You said it. You did. You said it. Oh, you they said didn't? It. Yeah, 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 but it. yeah, so it's... A, a, but what's it? Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, it sounds like, like it sounds like probably it's probably the original one. sounds like the original one. Which is... Which, by the way, the new one's getting terrible reviews. I Blue love the two. first part. Yeah. I thought the first part was part great. Part two's getting like terrible, re- and they're well, blaming it's really it. Really long. It's like three hours. Well, they're bl- supposedly they're blaming it on um, Bill Hader and James McAvoy, saying that they play just the stereotypical characters that whenever they're in movies, they're playing those characters. Oh, okay. Um, so Bill Hader is in that movie. That seems yeah. really weird, right? Bill Hader's the older, uh, the um, the leader of the group, leader of the losers. He's the oh, right. he, I forget his name. Oh. I like the I like the first part. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah. And the one scene I saw with James McAvoy, I was like, okay, that's pretty creepy. The how, the mirrors. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That was pretty creepy. So, um, that's all I got for stories right this moment. Jason, you got anything? Uh, give me one second. Okay. So I, I have a question for you. Is right. that is that thing going to be taking place at a theater in California? Uh, it will be taking place. In Utah. Let me let me tell you why I say this. Mm-hmm. 
will tell you about an experience that Steph had in a theater in California. <laughs> so, so she and I, whenever we want to go see a new movie, we'll try to like, you know, schedule with our families. We're like, hey, you know what? We'll go have a movie night. We'll take our families to go see the same movie at the same time. I'll see it at like 10 o'clock. She'll see it at like 7 o'clock. We'll always take a picture of both of our families in there and put it on Facebook. So we went to see the latest Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. I get done watching the movie. See it exactly the same time. I get done watching the movie. I've got 15 texts on my phone from Steph. I'm like, well, that's weird. The movie should have just ended. What did your text say, Steph? Oh, it was like, well, it was. It started with, okay, I think the first one. I don't. I don't the know. The first text she sent me was, started, "We just had an earthquake." And in this was right after the Fourth of July when we had, like, California had like three the, or four. Yeah, the or six point like three, something. Yeah, that, the, that the biggest one of those days because there was like the one that was on the fourth, I think, mm-hmm. and that one was like kind of, you know, and I. It was mm-hmm. about three or so hours away, and we kind of felt but, it. But the big, the biggest one that happened in that series of days was while I was in that theater, <laughs> and geez. everybody ran. Wow. But and it took a while for everyone to realize what was happening because it's mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like Stadium CD. It's a luxury theater, and I'm like, man, that 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 movie next door is like loud. It's mm-hmm. shaking my seat because it was a really quiet part of the movie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and everybody starts God. realizing. IMAX is getting really yeah. in-depth yeah, like, now. This Holy is really this realistic. Is experience. <laughs> and so it's, but, a weird, it's weird when you pick, you're like, holy crap. I just got a text from somebody an hour ago about an earthquake. I hope nobody died. Yeah. Because you're like, this is earthquake. You know, yeah. you don't know what's going on. You're like, that's kind of crazy. I could have been watching Spider-Man and, you know. Oblivious. What? Oblivious. Exactly. Oblivious. The people over there are completely freaking out watching the same movie at the same I time. Don't, I don't mean to, like, jump off on something else. But speaking of earthquakes, Netflix is still filming their second Tremors movie. You remember Tremors from the yes. 80s? Like, they're going to do a sequel? They're, film, they're filming their second one. They already had one with uh, uh, okay. with uh, Jamie something and the original Bert from the original one. What, Ernie? Was Ernie in there, too? No. <laughs> I oh, wish. Well, that's wrong, Bert. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> they, the, this last one was, like, more fun. Tremors in Snow, and this one's supposedly supposed to be, like, Tremors in the Orient or something along those lines. So, yeah, it's... It, it's like Jason Takes Manhattan. Come on now. Yeah. Josh X. Jason. I'm like, what? Remember Jason X? We How bad that, that one was? That was... Yeah, and Manhattan, one. he punches that guy's head off, though. The boxer <laughs> on top of the, the yeah, building. Yeah, but Jason... He's like, I'm gonna fight you! And he's just like, okay, bam! And then it Jason just... X, remember, he, the, the guy thought he'd save his life by giving him his hatchet yeah. on the spaceship. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Did you guys play the Friday the 13th game that yeah. was on? Yeah. Now, that had every Jason unlockable from all the movies. Yeah. That yep. game is so much fun. They, you can even be the uh, the NES Jason, which I freaking love. He's yeah. got the, he's the purple suit and yep. the green mask. Mm-hmm. And that game was brutal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, felt, I, I have, like, a gift somewhere that my friend made that he he took me... And because and, you can pick, you know, you can pick, like, the counselor up and, like, kind of choke him a little bit. Right. But but then when I fell, I fell close to the fire, and he was able to kick me, shove me <laughs> into the fire, and, like, grind my head it's into the flame. so brutal. And it just went on and on. My, and it was hilarious, but he had so an actual f- gift somewhere out there of that. Happening my favorite de- death in that game was when Paul was playing, and he couldn't open the door. And he's, like, sitting there trying to open the door, and we're like, hit, hit the button! Hit the button, Paul! <laughs> And Paul's not hitting the button, and then Jason reaches through yes. the door and grabs yes. him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome game. Oh, it's game. so much fun. Like you can call the, the police, best. and they show up. So, like, when you're running away to try or to get him, the end, they'll just start lighting him up. You can be, uh, oh, what's his, from the movie? He's from, from like the first one. Movies. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Tommy, but he, he's one of the ones that can, like, save you. you yeah, know, you like, can come. After you die, you can come back as him, and he's got the one shot, his gun. It can be hard as a Yeah, because you have to do, like, this whole, like... You have to get his mother's sweater, and then one of the characters has to put the sweater on. Then you have to go to a certain spot and then trick him to think you're his mother. While then you do something, and then somebody comes up and shoots him. It's like this whole, and it's literally just it's a survival game. It's stuff that you have to do, but the, I think it's usually so when you're a fucking... counselor, you can get because you got to get like the 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 radio, I think, right. the keys or, or the gas, the gas, yeah. the gas can, get on the and boat then you got to get off. the boat or the car. But you never like, especially when it's there's a lot of people. If it's yeah. like three of you playing, it mm-hmm. takes forever. Yeah. <laughs> you're like just scream or do something so I yeah. know where you're just at. Just get yourself killed. Something. I mean, yeah, because yeah, you can. I do... just hate the um, the whole time that the track for it's amazing. Oh yeah. Or it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's just like you're sitting there and it's. 
Yeah. Yeah. When, the, when the music it makes you so paranoid, you're like, oh, what's going yeah, on? Where you can are hear they? it, and you're like, where is he? Where is? He? And then he just starts. I mean, and he fucking walks. He just power walks. Well, a couple at you. of them are super fast. Yeah. Too. A couple of the J, I think so we, yeah, and then he can like tell up. We wanted to see of. all like the cool deaths and stuff like that. So remember, brother played it one night, and one of the cool ones that not a lot of people have seen is when you can go get in the water. And he can come up from yes. underneath you yes. and grab you and pull you I've down. Seen that happen. Yeah. I've and seen it's that happen. like, I was like sitting in the water for like 20 minutes going like this. When's Jason going to come get me? <laughs> I want to see come this on, one. Jason, yeah. I'm here. I've seen these movies before. You have to, as a counselor, you have to take your top off. That's, that's right. That's a, that's or, a or, yep. or you have to be the dick that got the cool girl. Yeah, yeah. You guys sleep with somebody or do drugs. Yes. Sleep with somebody or Jason, do drugs. Not about drug use or premarital sex. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Tom Brady in all situations, and then you die. Yeah, yeah. and you have a great workout regimen. <laughs> <laughs> really good workout. He's got a lot of rings. That and a very strict dietary. Sure <laughs> enough, you know, my my dad for Christmas because he's such a great guy, uh, bought me Tom Brady. Tom Brady made a book, like wrote a book about his. Eating regiment and all that kind of stuff, and it gives you all some nutrition. Wow. Shit. And that's what my dad gives it for Christmas. What a way to call you fat. I'm like, yeah, thanks, Dad. <laughs> thanks, Dad. I'm sorry that you're in your 60s and well, that can't you're you be more like, like Tom freak. Brady? <laughs> yeah. He, I, see, I did the best thing for my dad. I bought him chef stuff so that whenever I go over there, good food. The yeah, gift that keeps oh, on yeah. giving. Right. Oh yeah, no, my dad's like on like his. He's always such a health nut. And now he's like he's 64 and he's just. Starting to train to become a personal trainer. He's doing all that shit now. My dad's oh, on his man. my dad's on Dude, his third heart attack. Crazy. Likes to cook fried food. <laughs> oh my god, my dad's so he's, he does keto now, and he's always been just so ridiculously healthy. It's insane. It's 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 insane. All right. Well, so what have you guys got going on? Wow, we got a lot of stuff going on. So we just did what did we do last week? We just did Southwest Florida Steam Con last okay. weekend. This weekend, we are getting ready to go do Ancient City Con in St. Augustine. So probably when this show drops, we'll probably be we'll on be the floor at Ancient City Con in St. Awesome. Augustine. Three-day show. Um, just um, successfully funded the issue 11 of 11 for Heirs of the Sealed or the Crossroads Conundrum. And the 260, what do you figure it's going to be, 264 pages now? The 264-page trade version of it. Oh, we, oh well, we say that's it's a, dope. Well, we say it's an enhanced trade because we went back through every single page and are re-lettering everything from the beginning. Nice. So it's been a two-month ordeal, <laughs> two-month project oh, that she and I have been why on. Why haven't we seen you guys in two months? Yeah. And uh, we right now, I would say probably tonight, we're going to get the last two pages that we have to get done done. Um, there's still a couple of, you know, little, you know, housekeeping things that have to get finished right. up for it. Mm -hmm. Um, like we have to get the thank you list together for the people that bought it on Kickstarter. Um, a couple other little things like that, but going through a series that started off as a ebook that turned into an illustrated novel that turned into a comic and going back to the beginning and saying, well, we're going to go and take even the earlier chapters and make them look more like a comic right. is definitely not the easiest thing in the world, but it's been satisfying seeing. <laughs> I mean, there's been there were some sections that took 17 pages to get through a chapter that now take 11. Same exact content, but when you're taking text that was in a, you know, narrative form and it said, hey, such and such said this. That's one of the best things is removing all this crap of, you know, Jason said this. You know, Josh now you get came the word in bubbles and yeah, you got the word yeah. bubbles and you can let the art tell yeah, the, the story. Art, right. yeah. The art tells yeah. the story. Like there's a spot we're doing right now where it's, hey, they were walking. That stuff yeah. gets removed. You can clearly see Apparently if they're walking. They are walking. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's definitely helped to uh, to get the flow of the story up to speed. Uh, the same, we've made sure that the word bubbles and the stylings are the same beginning to end. Like we would even say, okay, we're gonna do something in issue four now. Now we're doing something in issue ten. Now we're back to issue three, and we kind of purposely right. bounced back and forth so that that way we knew that the feel all the way through was gonna be exactly the same. Um, but we should. We hopefully are going to have that out um, by the end of October. We should hopefully have that for uh, Spooky Empire and for Daytona Beach Comic Con. Um, we'll have another set of trading cards that go along with airs. We got. That's awesome. We'll have the. We'll hopefully have the cards ready for Ancient City, which are going to look pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, we uh, we got hologram trading cards. We got a special edition hologram card that's limited edition that's coming in be here Friday. Nice. Um, we are still doing the Accursed, which is the title for Alterna. And we are wrapping up issue one. We're in production on issue two for that one right now. And that's going to be fun. That'll be out on your guys' shelves here at Bearded Brown Coat with all these other alternate titles that we hold in our hands. Nice. Um, next year, that'll start coming out. 
And then we will hopefully have the second issue for Tales from Nocturnia, the medieval story we have. Hopefully mm-hmm. be kickstarting that at the end of October. So we'll nice. see what happens there. Very cool. Yeah, um, so the trade paper is definitely going to be... Uh, that's something I enjoy. I, I don't, I'm not one of those guys that can pick up books off the shelf and wait and pick up the books off the shelf. I pick up the stories that I like. Um, I'm one of the biggest House of M fans you'll ever find. And they've got the trade paper out there that's like that thick and I just like I want to get it but I don't have time to read it but I can go get all the books that they have out there but the trade papers are the way to go those things those things are amazing um if you guys want to read Heirs of Azildor the trade paper is coming out when was it uh, we hope to have it in our hands by the end of October. Next oh, end of October. Nice. The holiday season. That's right. We'll have <laughs> we have five different collectible versions of issue eleven as well because we know there's a lot of collectors out there. So right. we did. Um, we have a full foil version of issue nice. eleven, so the cover for front and back is going to be full foil. Mm-hmm. The trade and issue eleven, the main version of it is a full wraparound cover. Okay. So wow. yeah, full wraparound cover on That's that nice. one. Um, we had uh, Drew Pritchett, and then we also had Brian Silverbacks, who does a lot of stuff for Scout Comics that did variant covers. He actually did a – Brian Silverbacks did a variant cover, did an Incredible Hulk homage cover. Nice. So he took in, the, an Incredible Hulk cover and turned it into our big character, Remnant. Nice. So nice. exactly the same pose. I mean, you look down at the hands, you're like, dude, that is exactly the same hands. Of right. Incredible Hulk busting through a wall. It's now Remnant busting through a wall. That's awesome. Um, That's crazy. So it's interesting. You know, you see certain guys that are like, oh, man, I really don't care about having a trade. I want to go get the collectibles. we got the collectibles for them. Right. But even in the trade, we like I said, we call it an enhanced trade because at the end of every issue, we put a lot of behind-the-scenes notes, uh, trivia stuff that you would never know elsewhere. Um like there's one of the characters that um he got named because a guy that I'm friends with in a band I went to go meet him this guy's from Norway and went to to meet him at a show and uh, he introduced himself as his twin brother Reginald oh no 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 I'm, I'm Reginald just kind of joking around with me and so that kind of stuck and that was you know as a joke I'm like oh we're gonna just ramp it up I'm gonna name one of the, the side characters in this story he's gonna be named Reginald <laughs> and that's where it came from so we have little nice. notes like that so you really want to get behind the scenes not really break down the fourth wall but really see some of like the interesting little tidbits like that we make sure that all those things are in there beginning to end as well that's yeah. awesome so you guys got the con coming up this weekend that's in san augustine san augustine yep. san augustine Jeez. um you got daytona comic-con yep we have um uh late collector con on october 6th okay. that's next after this one right yeah then we have um Renegers steampunk fest um, on the 19th and 20th, but we also have Brick City, the Brick City Con. The Brick City Show, yeah. On 19th, toy. so we're going to have to split duties on the on the <clears> Saturday. <throat> I'll be at one, she'll be at the other. Right. Awesome. Um, and then we'll both be together for Renegers on the 20th. Then we have Spooky Empire. We're going to be on the creator's track at Spooky Empire. We nice. hopefully are going to be on a really freaking cool panel. Can't say what the panel is or who we're going to be on the panel with. Just know it's going to be freaking badass if this can actually be pulled off. Very cool. Um, then we have Daytona. And then we should be having a little soiree right here in this very room on Black Friday. Black awesome. Friday, Beard of, oh, Beard of yeah. Bronco, Black Friday 3. Going to bring it's going to be bringing the heat gonna, this year. Oh, my God. Bringing the heat this year. Yeah. Yeah, especially with everything that's been going on, it's going to be it's gonna I be purposely, easy. I so I, I make the schedule for my, <laughs> for my business, and I purposely, hey, I'll make November's schedule. Yeah, yeah. Josh not working Black Friday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is going to be insane. I, I tell you, I could not believe how busy this joint is on Black Friday. You know, people always talk about they want to go see that Black Friday experience, come to Beard of Brown Coat. Right. And you get here and you see 50 people lined up outside a small independent business at 1130 for a midnight opening. Right. Mm-hmm. And people losing their minds coming in to buy stuff at a small independent business. That's a fun, that's a fun time. Right. Yeah. Um, you, you can go to these big box stores, but it's just going to be stressful. You go to one of these, you know, small independent businesses cool. and you see the same kind of reaction. It's cool. Yeah, it's reassuring. It lets yeah. you know that this is gonna, this can happen other places. That that a no, business, yeah. small, the smaller business like us can survive and mm-hmm. and have freaking Black Friday. Oh, it's it was fun, man. Like you said, me and uh, Matt from VGs, and uh, then we had um, Kyle. Kyle's up for the artist, and um, I forget his last name is. Um, he'll probably kill me when he hears this. But, uh, um, but yeah, we're all up here, and I think I was up here till like four o'clock in the morning. Then I came back from like eleven to four and sold a bunch of stuff then and one person was like 
oh man, I really wish that uh, Steph was here to be able to sign. I'm like, well, I'm going to the airport to pick her up right now. If you're back here at nine o'clock, <laughs> I'll be her up here to sign. <laughs> sure enough, came back up for her. the third time on Black Friday. There was somebody sitting here waiting, Jeez. waiting for her to come sign the issues. That's I'm like, awesome. hey, like, you can't beat that. Nope. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I think we've got our show. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys. Actually, Right, yeah, we're uh so where can we find you guys? What can we what can people find you on? What do you like work social medias and all that kind of stuff? For Airs, it's pretty easy. It's Airs with Sealdor on Facebook, Twitter, yep. and Instagram and airswithsealdor.com. If it's uh Tales from Nocturnia, which is the medieval spin-off, think World of Warcraft, Dungeons and Dragons, um um Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, Um any of those, you would go to um Tales from Nocturnia on Facebook or TF Nocturnia on Twitter for Insimage Creations, which is our umbrella company where if you want to get information about all the titles, um, where we're going to be at, um, any of that kind of stuff, you know, we always try to make sure all that goes to Insimage Creations because that way you're not having to always go find all the other social medias. Everything mm-hmm. kind of branches out from there. On um, Facebook, it's just forward slash Insim, which is forward slash I-N-S-Y-M. And then on Twitter, it's Insim Creations, so I-N-S-Y-M Creations. And then in symmetrycreations.com. That's the way the play to be able to, to get all the information and hopefully be able to see us at one of these shows. If you're in St. Augustine, uh, get your butt over come to by come by and see Say us at hi. Ancient City Con. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. If not, you better bring your butts down to Beard Brown Coat on Black Friday. Yeah, or anywhere. I mean, you guys do every, it seems like you're at every single con. Whenever I see, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it as a, as a parent and then have a job. We're, and then you we're do the, just insane. Well, yeah, remember, I, I, remember, I, I, I am just... flying from California to Florida. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Every four to six weeks right now doing this, so. I don't know if that's the AC running right it's now. I don't think it is. Oh, I think my God. Boring. It's, rain? it's boring yeah, it's rain. right it's now. Rain. Welcome to Florida. I was right. going to say, as yeah. a matter of fact, just speaking of being from California, we don't get this at all. Yeah, yeah. see. That's weird. What's right? worse, this or the room starting to shake? Like, well, <laughs> I would take it. I've got a definitely room starting to shake. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I don't know. She's I mean, watching a movie. It can yeah. make it way more thematic. Like, yeah. If, you were... if, if only it had been in a really, like, major action scene. Yeah. yeah. Or like it's Godzilla. funny because she, she, told me, she told me where she was in the movie. It was literally, like, two minutes from, like, the 30 yes. minutes of action. Yes. She never even got to see the end of the movie. Yeah. Damn. But it was like, she's like, oh, we got to this one part right here. And I'm like, dad, gone, man. I'm like, wah, wah. could you imagine if it would have been two minutes later? They really would have had no idea because the theater would have been shaking from the movie yeah. right oh yeah, yeah. but now like you're saying we did um our goal to start this year was we wanted to do 12 appearances once you know average one a month and it ended up being 34 yeah i was gonna say that's that's yeah. well Tur- beyond turns yeah. out we're just crazy you guys oh. were at 12 when we saw you like four months ago. yeah, yeah and, and the way we looked at it was we at the beginning of the year we were doing and in the the end of last year we did a lot of big shows you know whether it was being a guest or walking the floor you know la comic-con emerald city in seattle um, Steph was able to be on the San Diego Comic Con Alternate Comics panel the last couple of years, WonderCon, yeah. which is cool. And you know, going to some of the bigger shows is good, but going to smaller shows where you've got a more captive audience, where you're a, a bigger fish in a smaller pond, right. are just as profitable for you as a as a business person. And you don't have that insane overhead of six hundred dollars for a table or three hundred dollars for a table. And you know, people are there to see you. It's not like some of the larger shows where people are paying a hundred dollars for a ticket and then they're going in because they want to get the hundred dollar autograph from the a-list or they don't give a crap about you know they're not going there to see you they're going in there to see zachary levi no offense you know loved you on chuck but still that's too much money for a signature Um, (laughs) you know that's that's where people are going to the bigger shows so we try to hit a lot of the smaller ones that are more focused Mm -hmm. um at the, for the second half of yeah. 2019, then we'll see where we go in 2020. And now we're having opportunities, too. I mean, we we did Spooky Empire in March, and nothing against the show itself, but we just felt like it probably wasn't a show that was going to be profitable for us. So on the way home from that, we're like, I don't know if we would, you know, if that would be one that we would have any advantages to doing again. Yeah. And then we got approached by somebody. Well, yeah, you, 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 you play to what your audience goes to. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. And at yeah, the if time, you guys were more of a yeah. horror title... I could well, see we're going to have our horror title next year. Yeah. So I, that'll... But we got we got an opportunity with um, yeah, we got an for Spooky that much better beat and... on the creators track where they have a whole separate Spooky Empire yeah. that's for writers and creators and movie buffs and all that kind of stuff. So we're like, dude, we fit right into that side. And they... some of the people that are going to be there were like, this. We didn't even know this Spooky Empire existed mm-hmm. the last they time. Are essentially asking us to be guests, and then the same yeah. thing with the one that we did last weekend. Um, they said, hey, you know, um, we're, we're a, a, a steampunk convention. We've never had comic writers, so if you guys would like to come down, you know, we're like, okay. So we're getting opportunities where it's like, 
right, I guess we'll do that show too. Yeah. <laughs> table. You, you know? never, you never, you never know. It might be, might be a larger show coming up soon that we might be able to start guesting out. We'll see what mm-hmm. happens. All right. Well, um, so before we go, you guys said airs of Zelda were on Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tales from Nocturnia, uh, and Sim creation, and Symmetry Creations. All that stuff. We are at uh, geekculture.com. That's g33kculture.com. Um, we are now expanding it to have our editorials. If you guys have an editorial you would like to write, submit it to support at geekculture.com. Support at g33kculture.com. We'll take the best. We'll uh, edit it for you, put it up on the internet, and you'll have your own story written and developed by you and we will share on our pages and stuff like that um and uh, make sure to check out every what, what are we posting now on monday nights for space kings or what is the night you're posting? uh the space kings i don't know if we have a schedule for those that's when we do the recording we are like six episodes locked or i have to that. i have to heal three or four days after we record those. yeah <laughs> um Oh, I'm not. Is this going back to the alligator, <laughs> yeah, the alligator story yeah. earlier? Yeah. We but drink and play a small version of D and D. Yeah, it's D and D, but with like playing Alcohol. cards and you get drunk. It's like the guy made it so you could be able to drink and still play a kind of a D and D. But it's just yeah. it's just madness, and you can be anything you want. Um, yeah, I don't know on that, but we will definitely have it up soon. Yeah, but we're gonna have that. That's gonna be a regular one. We are only up to three, I think, on our channel right now. Three or four, yeah. Three or four. We've got yeah. nine recorded now, so oh, yeah. we're gonna be having. Oh man. And they're all hour out. long, hour and a half long sessions. So. Yeah, so it's gonna be great to have that on there. Um, check out Kicking It Old School with Paul. Uh, he's going to start putting up more stuff here shortly. Uh, That's Jason's good. got a bunch of stuff up. He's playing video games with his daughter and stuff like that. Yep. Which is fun to watch because she's a better gamer than he is. <laughs> yeah. It's more fun. <laughs> she's going to be soon. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yep. That's, so, we always like to end with, um, tell us the... M- the moral of the story that you learned from today's show and then when you get around to me i'll say something ridiculous so, the moral of the story yeah, yeah. well what is yeah. what did you take away from today that you can give somebody advice i think don't I, mess with alligators yeah no I, I think it's more that if you're gonna tranquilize an alligator do it somewhere a little more secluded where someone yeah can't a little see bit more you. a little bit more in private you know, light just, a candle yeah, make it a little more romantic. And drive and, him back to your meth lab. Yeah, and, you know, and, <laughs> and, and just, you know, stay out of view. Did he trank it with, No, he wouldn't trank it with meth. Could you imagine that thing? Oh, on God, a meth alligator? Yeah. That's, how the, that's how the apocalypse But he'd be missing teeth, yeah. so at least he wouldn't be able to bite you. Yeah. So, uh, that's fair. But you know, we, we've Maybe seen... Maybe that's how he got a slow job. We, oh. well, we've seen that. We've seen one a of those. A gummy videos. gator. Well, uh, Metal Shark Bro did uh, did did Meth Shark Bro. They did one of the, the yeah, great covers where they did Meth they, Shark Bro. Oh, so. my God. So, Jason? I, no, I have nothing to add to that. I don't... Uh, don't give meth to gate or do give meth to gators. I'm gonna leave you guys with another dirty joke. This one's a quick one. Uh, family of four is driving down the interstate and they get behind a garbage truck. The garbage truck hits a bump and a dildo pops out of the back of the garbage truck, hits the window. The mother looks in the back seat, trying to save her children's innocence, and says, "Well, that was a big old bug." The son pipes up and goes, "I can't believe that bug was flying with that big of a cock." <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, all right. Have a good one. Thanks for joining right, us. Thanks for having Bye. us. Yeah. Good Lord. We'll be back next week with more of this crap and useless information. Look for us on Facebook and YouTube at Geek Culture. Boy, isn't that fucking appropriate.